many, many weeks, months, and years to expect something like this as the fight against ISIS ramps up, as ISIS gets squeezed in its uh, caliphate, so to speak. The incredible talent of Christine Adamant Poor, that of course CNN watching it today in the Pratt Pack Gym as the world is, along with the rest of the major news outlets worldwide because of this breaking story. Parliament went into lockdown minutes after two terror attacks. This according to an Indian origin lawmaker, Keith Vaz, was among those inside the building with the 400 odd members of parliament wondering what was going on. Quote, we are all locked in the chamber in the House of Commons. There are 400 members of parliament here and we cannot leave. The words of Mr. Voss as he told NDTV. Now according to details available now, a man entered the parliament building armed with a knife and was reportedly shot by a police officer in a separate attack. A car rammed into at least five people on the Westminster Bridge just opposite the Parliament building. Mr. Vaz, 59 years of age, Britain's longest serving Indian origin lawmaker, said members heard the gunshots, quote, we were told the attacker was shot, an air ambulance has arrived and everything is in a lockdown situation. This is all very alarming. Now, a police officer was stabbed and an assailant shot in what police are treating as a terrorist incident at the British House of Parliament. London's Metropolitan Police said on Twitter they were called at approximately 2.40 p.m. to reports of a firearms incident near Westminster Bridge near the main Parliament building. British media reported that there were multiple injuries. London's Metropolitan Police said officers, including firearmed officers, remain on the scene and they are treating this as a terrorist incident until they know otherwise. Now, the latest developments on this story. House of Parliament roads and Westminster Underground Station on lockdown. Images show a car crashed into the perimeter fence of Parliament and members of Parliament locked in, told they are going to just simply stay there and they must stay away from the windows. Again, police were called to this incident at 2.40 Please tune in now to the award-winning KDK Radio News Department and CBS Radio News throughout the day for details on this developing story. And coming up later tonight, we will debate this and give you the latest details as we are at Jimmy Joe Savage's Legacy Studios in East Liverpool, Ohio. And I'll be joined on the AT&T Newsline by two guests, Ted Arnaud and also Dave Pasquale. So we're going to discuss this. And also we are going to preview the historic health care vote that is set to take place in Washington tomorrow. So again, the latest, they are treating it like a terrorist attack at Parliament, a car crashing into individuals and also to a perimeter fence. And a gunman enters Parliament, is firing shots, stabbed a police officer, but he was shot and killed. That's the latest. And again, we'll have much more tonight from Legacy Studios in East Liverpool. Back in just a little bit to talk some other news of the day and wait for Pack Jim. Good afternoon.